Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Today we celebrate the feast day of Saint Joseph Cupertino, a Franciscan priest. I'll tell you more about him after the Gospel. And I'm offering this Mass for the Mother of Peace community, uh, for their mission and for their intentions. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, that at the intercession of Saint Joseph Cupertino, you may multiply your gifts among us and order our days in peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Now, if Christ raised from the dead is what has been preached, how can some of you be saying that there is no resurrection of the dead? If there is no resurrection of the dead, Christ himself cannot have been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, then our preaching is useless, and your believing it is useless. Indeed, we are shown up as witnesses who have committed perjury before God, because we swore an evidence before God that he had raised Christ to life. For if the dead are not raised, Christ has not been raised. And if Christ has not been raised, you are still in your sins. And what is more serious, all who have died in Christ have perished. If our hope in Christ has been for this life only, we are the most unfortunate of all people. But Christ has in fact been raised from the dead. The first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. I shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. I, I shall, shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, o Lord. glory o Lord. Lord, hear a cause that is just. Pay heed to my cry. Turn your ear to my prayer. No deceit is on my lips. I shall be filled when I awake 
within the sight of your glory, O Lord. I am here and I call. You will hear me, O God. Turn your ear to me. Hear my words. Display your great love. You whose right hand saves your friends from those who rebel against them. I shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. Guard me as the apple of your eye. Hide me in the shadow of your wings. As for me, in my justice I shall see your face and be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory. I shall be filled when I awake with the sight of your glory, O Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Harden not your hearts today, but listen to the voice of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Lord. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus made his way through towns and villages, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of God. With him went the twelve, as well as certain women who had been cured of evil spirits and ailments. Mary, surnamed the Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, Joanna, the wife of Herod's steward Chusa, Susanna, and several others who provided for them out of their own resources. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Joseph was, was born to a poor family in the small Italian town of Cupertino. His early life offered no evidence of any special gifts. He was considered slow-witted and easily distracted. He made several unsuccessful attempts to become a Franciscan before winning acceptance as a servant by the conventional Franciscans at Tortella. There he received the habit of a tertiary and was set to work in the stables. Though he remained a poor student, he could barely read and write. He won respect for his humility and deep faith. He was admitted as a novice and eventually, by a stroke of luck in his examination, he was ordained as a priest. From this point, Joseph began to display extraordinary spiritual gifts. At the thought of any holy mystery, he would be transported into a state of ecstasy. On such occasions, he would be visibly transported into the air. These levitations were documented by many reputable witnesses. While his reputation began to attract wide attention, his gifts of giddiness aroused the suspicion of church officials who charged that he was feigning holiness and setting himself up as a new messiah. Joseph was repeatedly called before the Inquisition and even brought to meet with the Pope. He was cleared of any charges. Nevertheless, he was ordered not to say Mass in public and ultimately he was assigned to a series of secluded friaries 
forbidden to have any dealings with the outside world. St. Joseph died on the 12th of June in the year 1656, and he was canonized in the year 1767 and his patron saint of Pilots. And somebody once asked him uh, what the souls in ecstasy behold, and this is what he said. They feel as though they were taken into a wonderful gallery, shining with never-ending beauty, where in a glass, with a single look, they apprehend the marvellous vision which God is pleased to show them. The response to our prayers today is Lord, nourish the lives of your people. Lord, Lord nourish the lives of your, your people. Christ, the Good Shepherd, lay down his life for his sheep. Let us praise him with grateful hearts as we pray. Lord, Lord nourish, nourish the lives of your, your people. Christ, our Lord, in the holy pastors, you reveal your love for us. May we never be deprived of the care you show through them. Lord, Lord nourish the lives of your people. Through your sacred ministers, you are present in our midst as the shepherd of our souls. Never cease to guide us through their teaching and encouragement. Lord, Lord nourish, nourish the lives of your people. In the saints who lead your people, you manifest your power of healing souls and bodies. Remain always with us to renew our lives in holiness. Lord, Lord nourish, nourish the lives of your people. By the example of the saints, you instruct your faithful in the ways of wisdom and love. Through our pastors, help us grow to the full stature of perfection. Lord, Lord nourish the lives of your people. Lord God, light of the faithful and shepherd of souls, who gave blessed Joseph Cupertino to your church, to feed your flock by his teaching and form them by his example. Grant that by his intercession we may keep the faith which he taught and follow in the way he walked. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Lord God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, 
fruit of the vine and the work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. This is this will be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration our blessed Joseph Cupertino, so that as you brought him glory, you may through these sacred mysteries grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people. He stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many. For the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, and Graham our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, 
Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ, the body of Amen. Christ, the blood of Christ, Amen. the blood of Christ, Amen. For those of you who cannot receive Holy Communion right now, I invite you to join us in this act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> May partaking at the heavenly table, Almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Saint Joseph Cupertino, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. 
and do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.